Okay, we've got a pencil. We've got a Micron 005 and a Micron 02, right? They're the two pens we're gonna use. We've got a rubber or an, an eraser if you're an American and find the word rubber hilarious. Um, this is just an A5 notebook. I draw lots of stuff in here. Um, and then we're gonna start by kind of sketching out a border, right? Right, okay, that's the inside of the border. That's what we're drawing in, right? So we've got a little land. It's gonna be based around rivers, right? So the main thing, I, have, I don't really know what shape it's gonna take yet, but it's gonna have a mountain range. So, and we're gonna see part coast, part kind of connected by land. So we're not gonna see just one land mass. Um, okay. So I'm envisaging that we'll have a bit of coast there, right? And then that bit can be kind of, I can almost go into the corner. It can come in a bit and then we'll have sort of some rough here. I don't know, something like this. Uh, and then up here as well, it's gonna come in right. And then on this west side, um, that's where it's gonna join the rest of the land, right? So uh, there we are, okay. So that's our vague shape. Okay, great. And I want four sort of main areas. I think. Do I want? I want four main rivers, right? So we're gonna have. That's gonna be our mountain range, like that, right? Mountains are a great way to split up your land, right? And then that, that peninsula, that could be something so right? So okay, great. We've got some mountains. Um, we're gonna sort of put. Actually, I want to draw these in a bit better as a sketch. Um, that's where our mountain's going to be. And then we're going to have four rivers, right? So, how much could you see on this top page? We're going to have four. So we're going to have the Eel Rush. And we're going to have the Autumn River. And uh, we're going to have Larksfall River. And we're going to have Silver Star River. And the reason for that is that we're going to use those river names to dictate our place names, right? So, out of that, we're going to stick a load of other place names up, but we're going to put them in a minute, right? I've planned out what a lot of the towns are going to be called, and you'll see that in a sec. Right, so anyway, that, I'm saying mountains are going to where that comes in. That's sort of crap, right? Because that will push thing out, so the coastline can come in there, and actually come around like that. We'll get rid of that though. That's not making sense. There you go. There's sort of some map building 101. Your mountains would dictate vaguely the shape of your coastlines, right? There'll be lots of exceptions to that rule, but that's something you could work on, right? That's going to be a main river there, and that's going to flow up to the centre of those mountains, right? So it's going to sort of be like that. And then we're going to have another one here that's coming in like this. This one to here. Right, and where's our fourth gonna be? So this river, this will be the eel rush. And then this one, I want this one to be Lark School. And then this one is gonna be Silver Star. And then, right, so that's mountains. Okay, so, and then we're gonna work out how the other one sits in a minute. Right, so let's sketch these mountains out a bit. I don't want these lines here because they kind of get on my nerve when I'm trying to draw the mountains. So I'll erase them so they're just really faint. Right, you're going to hear my dog barking in the background because um, she's not very happy. She's upstairs on her own and she wants me to go and join her. Okay, hey, there she goes. Right, the mountain range. I thought of a few names for these, right? But we're gonna have one. Okay, we're gonna go with Ice Widow Mountains. Um, so I'm gonna put that in here, right? And then as these are gonna spur off in three directions, we can have those little ranges called something else if we want to. But anyway, I'm gonna write the name in so then we sort of reserve that spot for text. Right, 
that that there that's a no a no go right so we've made one we've made three lines converge so we have that that and that right and we don't want that so that's going to come up higher and go like that and that and come in there and that the other side hope that makes sense that's a really important point these little trailing legs whatever you want to call them legs um shouldn't ever intersect with a peak right even if that's how it should look or for whatever reason but don't do it not worth it okay anyway. And all we'll do then is in some of the regions, we'll just add like little pockets of hills to go with it. Right, rivers and the coastline. What's a lake without some sort of mysterious island? We haven't really got enough space to write a name in for this lake, which is a bit annoying actually, because I wanted to call it Snow's End. Um, can I fit that in? Yes. Okay, so that means that in order to fit the title in, I'm gonna put a very small little island in Right, um, okay, we're gonna put in a few towns. So, between Eel Rush and Larksville River, we're gonna have the names of the rivers kind of dictating the place names that go with them, right? So, the Eel, in my head, the Eel Rush is gonna be named the Eel Rush, but actually, it's gonna come from a term starting with E A L, almost like ale, but not the beer. So anyway, we're gonna have a few towns, right? So this one. Okay, Elkham, you see then the detraction from the name begins, right? 
So we go further away from the eel rush, we're starting to spell it differently. Okay. Small world building tip that probably is rubbish, but it kind of makes sense to me somehow. Right, so then we've got Lark's Fall. Right, at the mouth. Right, already, we haven't even drawn in this bit of coast, but we can see we've actually got regions forming, right? So here's a region, here's a region, maybe up here's a region, and then maybe over here's a region, or some sort of wasteland or something, right? And that's great. That's dictated the geography of where we can get to easily, when we've got across a river, where there's a river, there might be, you know, weird old women doing ferry crossings, there might be, difficulty, chance of getting swept away, where there's mountains, there's ice and all sorts, right? So we've got loads of potential for adventure already. And we haven't even written anything yet, we're just literally putting in the towns we want. You may be asking, what is our scale? And you'd be right to ask, because I haven't told you yet. So our scale, right, we're going to have one centimetre bits, so we could start, I'll give you a clue, right, um, right, so we can start to see these one centimetre bits, are going to form the scale, right, so that would suggest then that more not a stone head, for example, is like, I don't know, how much of my pen, it's basically this is a silver bit, and that's basically two things, so I want that to be about, uh, like a, maybe a two days, right? So then, if a day there's something in the in the um, dungeon master's guide about this, right? But let's assume that a day is 20 miles on foot. Because if you've ever tried to walk 20 miles in a day, it takes quite a long time. So we could say that then each one is 10 miles, right? Does that make sense? So then, like with three bells, blah blah blah. And what's the longest we're going to be? So it's going to be, what did we say it was? It was, it's 19 centimetres, what an annoying amount. So, so that's 190 miles, right? So then that is, I don't know, the widths of some parts of the UK? Hmm, great, that seems fairly fair. It looks like mountains could come across it. That's a long ass mountain range. Those mountains are nice and big. Then by comparison, everything else can be quite small. So yeah, I think that works. 10 miles per centimetre. Great. Right, anyway, on with the names. Okay, so we've done this little bit. So how do I want this to look? I want this to kind of curl round, right? I want some, I don't just want to end it there. I want some sort of nice curve. I think that's okay, uh, and then actually that could join like that. Yeah, it's not the perfect shape, I'd rather it was a bit more out there. Okay, here's where you can get fussy, right? Things can start to make sense, or maybe you should just let them go. Maybe I should have just let that go, but anyway, that's how it looks. <laughs> Hands up, that's it. Okay. Do we have a rest before today? I've used eels rest, I don't think I like stars rest. Can't use star fall. Stars hollow, no we can't have that. Star gate, no we can't have that. We have to think of something for that. Right, um. Right, that's all that, and then, so all we've got to do now is get this top bit drawn, right? So, do we want this big 
bell end sticking out here. I don't love it. I don't love it. We've got a coast there. We've got a coast there. I feel like this coast needs to continue to this for it to make sense. So it's going to have to do that. And then the last river is going to be fairly small, right? But it's going to be really wide. It's going to dissect here up to there. And those four rivers are basically our borders, aren't they? So that's great. Okay, right. Um, don't know about that bit. Let's draw this bit. Do we want any particular shapes? Okay, so what are we on? Sketching, 43 minutes. There we go, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. I'm really interested in what you think of this. Do you think it's any good? Do you think it's too small? I don't know, I kind of like it. Okay, so we're gonna get on with inking. Like I said, we've got a Micron 02 and a Micron 005. Right, outlines first, Micron 02. Let's just draw them in. Too bad, that's the outlines. Oh, we're gonna do this river. Okay, this river's done. Not looking too bad. I'm gonna draw in the little towns and then we're gonna do the hills and mountains and then we're gonna go on from there. So, for the towns, let's draw our little boxes. Okay, I'm probably not going to do writing yet, I'm going to do the mountains. The end of the O2 for now. Put that down, pick up an O5. And I'm gonna have to adjust my angle a bit around the screen here.
Right. So next up, taking care not to damage any of the, where we're gonna put the words. We're gonna just, still with our 05 pen, we're gonna just do some little accenting on the coastline on the inside. You've seen me do this a hundred times before. one all the time what have we got to we are on that's another 29 minutes so mountains coast 29 minutes not bad we're gonna go for a bit of older style so we're gonna have a nice have a nice wavy line tracing the coastline And I tend to not go into these inlets. Actually, I'm going to stop here because I realised I've made a bit of a silly mistake. I want to add some islands, right? And that was a good place to add islands. So we've F'd that in the A as well, but we're going to add a few more quickly before we carry on. Okay, back to the O1 continue this line and now we'll go around the outside of it. I slipped a bit here, that's a bit of a crap one, but hey, we'll live with it. So that's the O1 pen. You could do that in the O2 pen and press lightly. You don't really need the second pen. And then we'll do a second row in O5. And again where you've got bits to go in you can just cut them off. Okay, there we go. So we added the ocean, 36 minutes done on that second section, plus 43. Oh, what's that? 79 minutes? That's an hour and 20. That's not bad, I think. I'm going to take the 05, but I'm going to write in the place names and then we can start rubbing out everything else. Now the great part about this is I'm going to write them in. My writing's terrible. I'll write them in and then I'll scan this and I'll erase them and redo them in Photoshop. Probably with better writing. Probably. Um, anyway, let's get on with it. Right, let's do it. Okay, that's that done, I think. Is that all of them? Uh, oh, this, stars, something or other. So we've got snows in there, we're gonna have stars in here. Okay, I'm gonna just give the some of the islands a little bit of accenting, just so they look a bit more like land. Okay, let's check where we've missed any shading. There's a little bit. All right, I suppose we better do my least favorite job. Let's draw the border. Okay, we've 
we've done a grid. Now we're gonna work out if it's gonna work as black, white, black, white. So we're gonna have to do black. Right, take your thickest pen. I'm gonna use a thicker pen. Right, I've got an 05, but you don't need it, okay? That's really annoying. Oh well, that's fine. Okay, there's the pens. I said we needed two. You could do it with two, definitely. You definitely don't need this. Okay. <laughs> I can't delay it anymore. We're gonna have to do some forests. Let's add a finishing touch. This might be a mistake, but we'll try. Okay. Still thin pen. Little legs. Is that a mistake? Let me know in the comments. Not bad, right. Let's have a little rub out of them. Is that everything that we did? Right, these. Okay, there we go. Not bad. It probably needs a name. Should probably give the scale some sort of scale. So, just put it in 10 miles. Not straight. I'll probably fix that in Photoshop. And there we have most of a map. What we can do is just add a little bit, of, a few tufts of grass, just to fill in the blanks a little bit. All right, just need to scan it, add some names, and I'll show you how it looks. Oh, and that is, one hour 17 plus 43 bang on two hours how about that 